Inspector cleared of spanking WPC. Inspector David Henley was cleared yesterday of indecently assaulting a trainee policewoman by spanking her bare buttocks. The jury of four women and eight men at Acton Crown Court took three hours to reach a verdict after Mr. Henley, aged 38, had denied assaulting WPC Susan and Jarvis, aged 19. Mr. Henley, who had paid for his own trial, was awarded costs. Miss Jarvis, of Cecil Road, Action, now a probationer, had claimed earlier that near the end of her 15-week training course at Hendon Police School she was spanked in a locker room after being told, bend over or resign. Mr Henley, married of West Wickham, Kent, who has been in the police force for 20 years, told the court, I didn't touch her. I didn't lay a finger on her. He denied that Miss Jarvis had had a drink in his presence and said that they had discussed a class paper of hers which he had criticised. He also denied being alone in the staff room with her and said that she had followed him into his locker room after he had told her three times to go home. Mr. James Rand, QC, for the defence, told the jury, people do have bizarre fantasies. It is the experience of courts that people behave, sick, and say things that are not true for unclear reasons. Mr. Henley said in court today, sick, I just couldn't understand allegations she has made. She deliberately lied about what had taken place in that office. None of it occurred. The inspector said he had never met Miss Jarvis before that evening and could not think why she should make up stories about him. He said that he had no explanation for any marks that were on her buttocks, they were certainly not made by me. He told the court Miss Jarvis was looking for the duty officer and he asked if he could help. Mr Henley who was suspended from duty because of the court case, will remain so until a decision is made by the Police Complaints Investigation Bureau, Scotland Yard said yesterday. Miss Jarvis will continue working. Miss Jarvis last night refused to comment on the verdict, the Press Association reports. At the family's home in Acton, her mother said, Susan is not here but she has been told the verdict and is, of course, terribly upset by it. The police told her not to say anything and she is following their advice.